Hello everyone, welcome to JE Advanced 2019 paper solution. It was conducted in online mode on 27th May 2019. So let's solve mathematics paper 1 of JE Advanced 2019. Let's begin with the first question. It's from complex numbers. Let S be the set of all complex numbers Z satisfying mod z minus 2 plus iota greater than equal to root 5 that is we are talking about circle and its exterior that is the boundary and exterior if the complex number z naught is such that 1 upon mod z naught minus 1 is the maximum of the set this one then principal argument of another number they are asking for. So, let us start this question. For this one, this particular circle is going to play a crucial role. So, let us draw the figure first. Here we can draw the circle in this fashion. So, let us start this question. Right Now, you can see a circle with center at 2 comma minus 1 is being drawn. Now, question says that we have to talk about maximum value of 1 upon mod z naught minus 1 correct this is maximum when you are talking about maximum value of it meaning you are saying mod z naught minus 1 is minimum this is clear we are looking for minimum value of it meaning we can clearly see z naught will lie here and when you join this point and 1 comma 0 in such a way that it is passing through the center of the circle then you will be getting the minimum value. So, clearly mod z minus 1 minimum meaning it is lying here. I am sure this point is clear. Okay. So, when you talk about the part given to you it is given 4 minus z naught minus z naught bar divided by z naught minus z naught bar plus 2 iota we have to talk about principal argument of it. So, let us start this question mod z naught minus 1 is equal to because I have taken this point as z naught correct. So, this will simply be equal to the radius minus distance of center from the point 1 comma 0 radius is root 5 minus distance between these two points that is root of 1 minus 2 whole square plus 0 plus 1 whole square. So, its minimum value is root 5 minus root 2. So, this is the minimum value. I am sure this point is clear. Let us take the term given to us that is 4 minus z naught minus z naught bar divided by z naught minus z naught bar and the last term is plus 2 iota. Just simplify it. You can clearly see when you take minus common it is z naught plus z naught bar meaning twice real part of z naught. So, we can write it as 4 minus 2 x naught. Let us consider the point z naught is x naught plus iota y naught right now denominator we can write here z minus z naught bar that is 2 iota y naught plus 2 iota so just further simplify you can read it as 2 minus x naught divided by 2 is cancelled iota can be taken common just multiply further with iota with a negative sign in numerator and denominator that means the conjugate this point is clear ok. So, let us see what we are getting here this is equal to minus iota multiplied with 2 minus x naught divided by y naught plus 1. Now, see the figure part when you talk about x naught and y naught clearly these are in the first quadrant point number 1 point number 2 when you talk about x naught meaning this distance and 2 meaning this distance. So, clearly 2 minus x naught is positive. So, we can see here that the term 2 minus x naught upon y naught plus 1 is clearly positive. So, with negative sign multiplied meaning it becomes negative. Therefore, argument of minus iota 2 minus x naught divided by y naught plus 1 is clearly minus pi by 2. So, I am sure this question is clear how we are getting the result for it. So, the correct answer is minus pi by 2. Let us see from the given options. Yes, it is available here as option number C. 
So, that is our correct answer. I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the second question. Let m equals matrix is given and it is given this is equal to alpha i plus beta m inverse where alpha is alpha theta and beta is beta theta are real numbers i is identity matrix of order 2 by 2. If alpha star is the minimum of the set this one and beta star is again a minimum of set this one. So, alpha star and beta star are minimum values lying in the interval 0 to 2 pi. We have to talk about the value of alpha star plus beta star. Let us try this question. So, for this one first we need this m let us write it m is given to us as matrix sin 4 theta minus 1 minus sin square theta 1 plus cos square theta and cos 4 theta that is clear ok. This is given to me equal to alpha i plus beta m inverse. So, we need m inverse as well. So, let us plan for m inverse. For m inverse first we need the determinant of this matrix m. This will be sin 4 theta cos 4 theta minus minus 1 minus sin square theta into 1 plus cos square theta. So, you can write plus 1 plus sin square theta multiplied with 1 plus cos square theta right just simplify this expression to get the result as 2 plus sin square theta cos square theta plus sin 4 theta cos 4 theta. Now, this can further be simplified as we can write it as 2 plus 1 by 4 sin square 2 theta plus 1 by 16 sin 4 2 theta or we can write it as 1 by 4 sin square 2 theta plus 1 by 2 whole square just convert it into a perfect square like it is 1 by 4 sin square 2 theta whole square plus 2 into 1 by 4 sin square 2 theta into half. So, clearly I need to write half here and then we are left with plus 2 minus 1 by 4 that is 7 by 4. So, I am sure this part is clear how we are getting it further simplified ok. So, this is determinant of m. Now, m inverse this can be written simply by interchanging the diagonal elements here like cos 4 theta and sin 4 theta and changing the sign over here. So, let us write down this is cos 4 theta 1 plus sin square theta minus 1 minus cos square theta and sin 4 theta. So, this is adjoint m multiplied with just say 1 upon lambda if you take this term as lambda. This point is clear. So, this way we find m inverse. Now, let us go back to the question part. It says m is alpha i plus beta m inverse. So, let us write down therefore, m which is alpha i plus beta m inverse we can write here it implies that sin 4 theta cos 4 theta along diagonal minus 1 minus sin square theta and 1 plus cos square theta is equal to alpha 0 0 alpha plus beta m inverse. So, we have here beta by lambda multiplied with cos 4 theta 1 plus sin square theta minus 1 minus cos square theta and sin 4 theta. Just equate the two determinants on left side and right side you can see the result obtained as sin 4 theta is equal to alpha plus beta by lambda cos 4 theta alpha plus beta by lambda 
cos 4 theta that is clear. Also you can see that minus 1 minus sin square theta is equal to beta by lambda multiplied with 1 plus sin square theta. So, let us write down this result as well minus 1 minus sin square theta is beta by lambda multiplied with 1 plus sin square theta. From third and fourth we get the similar results. So, here we can see that beta is equal to minus lambda this point is clear that beta is equal to minus lambda. Now, put this value of beta is equal to minus lambda put in equation number 1 right. Let us put it here. So, we are getting sin 4 theta is equal to alpha minus cos 4 theta or plus cos 4 theta is equal to alpha. I am sure this point is clear. Now, we have to talk about alpha star which is the minimum value of alpha. So, let us find out the minimum value of alpha therefore, alpha is equal to 1 because we can write this term as sin square theta plus cos square theta whole square minus 2 sin square theta cos square theta. So, minus half sin square 2 theta therefore, alpha star is equal to the minimum value. It is minimum when this term is maximum. The maximum value of this term is just 1. So, 1 minus half giving you half. So, the value for alpha star is half. Now, we got the value for alpha star. What is beta star? Beta star meaning minus of lambda and what is beta star? It is the minimum value. So, it will be minimum when lambda is maximum lambda meaning this value this is maximum its maximum value is obtained when sin square theta is taking value 1 that is clear. So, put this term as 1 you get 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 whole square plus 7 by 4. So, let us write down 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 whole square plus 7 by 4. So, this will be the result for beta star. Let us further simplify you can see this is minus of 3 by 4 whole square that is 9 by 16 plus 7 by 4. So, let us write down 9 by 16 plus 7 by 4 or you can say this is minus 37 by 16. Now, question was find the value of alpha star and beta star the sum. So, alpha star plus beta star is equal to half minus 37 by 16. So, this is minus 37 plus 8 that is minus 29 by 16 a bit calculative. So, I am sure this is clear. Let us see from the given options. Yes, correct answer is available as option number B. So, that is our correct answer. So, I am sure this is also clear. Let us move on to the question number 3 now.